yellow submarine of course I'm looking for trout So far, mangrove snappers and this guy. I'm on a solo, solo trout hunt. Had some kids get sick today, or a kid get sick on the boat. We had a six hour trip planned all day long and he got sick. His other brothers were doing fine. So I was left with, we had to go back. I was left with eight dozen live shrimp. So I'm down here giving it a shot. Well, this is one of those summers when there's been a lot of big trout, but you certainly have to weed through the mangrove snappers. They're invasive. 30 years ago, they didn't even exist in this river. So when you go float rig fishing, take two dozen extra shrimp. I don't care if you're going throwing jigs and shrimp. Take two dozen extra shrimp because you're going to need it. These mangrove snappers will eat you out of house and home. Now we're targeting them. I've taken customers out and we've, we've caught our... 15 or 20 mangrove snappers pulled maybe five de decent ones out of there you can keep them at 10 inches well if you don't know that's what they do to your shrimp they just pop it in half so you better bring a lot of shrimp all right what do we got here not a gator but we got ourselves some dinner. Actually, I need to find smaller trout. There we go. Fishing along some seriously odd structure. We'll take it all day long. Got a nutter. Oh yeah. called the head spin there I think I found them Ooh, this one's bleeding his ass off here another one for dinner perfect keeper all right got another just what I need I need keepers Instead of just one big one. That'll, that'll make the gray stank, as we always say. Everybody likes shrimp and everybody likes a little shade. Alright. Oh, there he is. Oh, and he got off again! Oh my gosh. Well, I'm changing hooks. I wasn't using one of the kales. Number four kale. All right, well, I need two more, and I got my woohoo! Oh my god, I got my Florida trout limit of five fish. Let's see what the story is here. Let's focus back to. Northeast Bizarro Land, Florida. In the middle of the summer. They must be really wandering around in here because sometimes it hits the water and I got one on that quick. And then other times it's floating around out there and takes a minute. When your float goes dun 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 that's your bait gone. 
And them son of a guns don't, they don't give you a second chance. They do not give you a second chance. Well, I got him that time. Somebody small. Yep, there he is, little bastard. I got you. And that will be a keeper. He's a sandwich fish. Have yourself a mangrove snapper sandwich. Oh, God, come on. And another. Come on, you little bastard. I should have my just grab it glove on. Another keeper. All right, well, I got my five mangrove snapper limit. Woohoo! Five! Like trout. I need two more trout. And then I'm going home. Hopefully, this is a trout. And it's not. Good God, they're getting bigger. Really? Five per person and they're infesting this river? They're totally infesting this river and it's only five per person. Are you kidding me? AFWC, they're infesting their, uh, their invasive species. Ask any fisherman. I swear to fish and game. I mean, the only time they ask you your opinion is when they're going to, when they've already thought about changing the laws. Look at this guy. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Five per person, please. You could, you could double that and not even hurt the population of mangrove snappers in this river. I mean, I can't catch another trout because of them. Finally. Finally a trout. See all that kale hook, how deep it got him? Right in the mouth there. Got him nice and deep. Okay, I, I think he's a keeper. Oh yeah, he's a keeper all day long. All right. One more trout. And then it's PBR time. PBR, white socks and red necks. Okay, I hope you're hooking your live shrimp on a float rig correctly. If you're not, then you ain't doing it right. There's your shrimp. Every shrimp has a horn. Go right up underneath, there's a little white spot right there. And poke it under the horn. That's it. Don't use the black spot as a target. Because it ain't a target. from the mangroves. One more tea route. Is it a trout? Yes it is. Yeah, it's a nice one. died so I just made a bomb out there decent
Time to go make the donuts. The tide dies. You're just, you know, I'm just letting it slot, float around in hopes of that fifth trout. Oh my God, that fifth one. All right, time to pack this up. Uh, yeah, it's hot. Water's 84 where I'm at right now. So you can bet fish want to be in the shade. Woo, man. 84 degree water. That's hot. So, I'm gonna buzz on back and clean up the donuts. A good way of resurrecting a trip with some kids. Hold on. I got tons of bait. I still got tons of bait. I left out with eight dozen. I didn't use no eight dozen today. So, I'm out of here. I'll see you back at the dock. All right, back at the dock. Time to make the donuts with my friends. That's my friend. He wants to be my friend. All right, here's my take. Five and five. No big deal, went to one spot. Eh, maybe one and a half spots. And uh, all cookie cutter trout. And then mangroves. I had one bigger than this. I had to throw back. So that's a good meal. I don't think the kids would have caught these today because it took some casting and some skill to catch these. But the kids this morning caught a couple mangroves just bottom fishing. So, all right. So that's my day. Somebody said in a video, how come you don't go out and, and fish on your own? Well, I went and fished on my own. So there you go. Okay, I'm gonna make the donuts and I'll see you on the next Jacksonville Fishing Mangrove Snapper Report. All right, I'm in the kitchen at the Jetty Wolf Fish Camp. That's what five trout and five mangrove snapper look like. People always ask me, how do you cook your fish, Jetty Wolf? Well, I take a Ziploc bag like this. I keep my Zatarans. There's my Zatarans country fish fry mix. I wash off my fillets and then I put a couple scoops of this in it and then I throw them in the bottom of the refrigerator. So let me do a little washing off here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean here's your mangrove snapper fillets. Look at these. That's what you get out of those 11 inch fish. Okay. I mean they're great fillets but it's not like, I mean, look at that one. It's not like it's, you know, it's a sandwich filet. That's all you're getting out of them. So I'm gonna wash all these off and I'll show you what I do. It's nothing fancy because I'm a bachelor and I don't do a lot of cooking. I'm not a, I'm a disaster in the kitchen waiting to happen. You know, like start a fire or something like that. Okay, I got the camera hitched to the, to the faucet because I'm doing this kind of off the cuff here. Okay, what I do is I take a Ziploc bag like this. Your standard Ziploc bag. 
I take my fillets that are wet and I throw them in the bag and I take some of my Zatarain's country fish fry mix and I put it in the bag like that. I zip lock it and then I do the Chiquita banana. She's a cheetah, Chiquita banana and she's here to stay. There you go. And then I deep fry them. I like the cornmeal type mix. See how they get all covered in cornmeal? And that's it. And I might make one of my little veggie meals. You know, one of my uh, bird's eye veggie meals with it. And now I'll do the same to the trout. So, there is <coughs> the Jetty Wolf's cooking methods. I think I will have me some fried mangrove snapper fillets for, for supper. And then I'm going to bag up all this trout. And I think I'll take it to my parents tomorrow. And we'll put it in the air fryer over at Mama's house. Ooh la la. Olive oil, Zataran, and mangrove snapper. Come on. You know, people ask me all the time, hey Jetty Wolf, how do you maintain that unbelievable fisherman physique that you have obtained? all these years and I tell them fried fish and then over here your veggie meal with plenty of spinach gotta have the spinach like Popeye you gotta have the spinach it gives you gives you them big forearms like Popeye that's how you maintain the fishing physique. And don't forget, while out fishing, while out fishing, don't be drinking no dang sodas and all that crap, that uh, energy drinks and all that. When I'm fishing, I drink plenty of water in a big old 20 ounce, just like this. And it always helps to have an American flag and a trout on it. This is an Ingle cup that came from a subscriber. And I use it every time I'm on the boat. Fill it full of ice cubes, a little OJ. Can't, can't forget, a little OJ and then seltzer water on top of it. Unflavored seltzer water. And that's how you two can look just like this all righty then folks doesn't this just look scrumptious mangrove snappers little pasta veggies and spinach and water and oj that's for supper what's for dinner fish is what's for dinner all right, there you go. That's the Jetty Wolf's cooking session. You'll probably not see this much ever again. <laughs> we must never forget this country does not belong to them. It belongs to you, the American people. This nation is your heritage, and our magnificent American liberty is your God-given right. takes my stress away I want to go fishing try and cast my blues away